Let's take a look at how to find the valence electrons for an element on the periodic table. So first we'll look at the periodic table here in the general trend for valence electrons and then we'll practice some. So on the periodic table, if we look at group one, all of the elements in group one, they have one valence electron. So for example, if we looked at hydrogen, hydrogen only has one proton, so it only has one electron and that's in the first energy level here. Hydrogen has one valence electron and that valence electron, it's available to form chemical bonds. How about sodium? Sodium, that's also in group one. It has 11 protons, so it has 11 electrons. But when we look at the energy levels here, we have this first one that's full, the second one's full, and the third energy level right there, just one valence electron. So sodium, like hydrogen, because it's in group one, one valence electron. As we go across the periodic table, we look at group 13, sometimes called 3A. These have three valence electrons, group 14, four valence electrons, and so on. The only exception, that's helium. Helium's atomic number is two. It only has two protons. It only has two electrons. So helium here has two electrons in its outer shell, even though it's in group 18. Let's do one more and then you can practice. Let's look at phosphorus. So phosphorus, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A, and these elements here, they have five valence electrons. So if you look at phosphorus, these energy levels are full, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, five valence electrons for phosphorus. And again, these are the electrons that are available to form chemical bonds. So pause and give it a try. Carbon, how many valence electrons does carbon have? Carbon right here, group 14, sometimes called 4A, it has four valence electrons. Two, three, four. How about magnesium? Magnesium, that's in group two, two valence electrons. Let's try some with these numbers covered up. What about boron? So boron, one, two, skip the transition metals, three, group 13, sometimes called 3A. Boron has three valence electrons, these electrons in the highest energy level. Let's do one more. Krypton. Krypton is in group 18, sometimes called 8A, so it should have eight valence electrons. Two, four, six, eight. So Krypton, like all of the elements in group 18 here, they have eight valence electrons, except for one element. Do you remember what it is? Helium. Helium only has two valence electrons, even though it's in group 18, sometimes called 8A. So that's a quick and reliable way to figure out the number of valence electrons using the periodic table. There are other ways to do it. You could also use electron configurations. But if you memorize this, use the periodic table to figure those valence electrons out, it's normally much quicker and effective on exams. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.